Well, the summer heat is on, so today I just have a quick little tip for you. Something you might have seen on YouTube before, but it's just a little easy way to cool down your turf a little bit in the heat of summer. So stay tuned. So it's pretty easy for the turf to get very warm in the heat of the day and especially in the middle of summer like we are now. So if you live in the Midwest like I do with cool season turf, that's pretty easy for it to be around 90 or so with heat indexes over 100. We've had that here for the past couple weeks. So that makes it pretty tough for the turf to survive that. So today I have a really quick tip. So it's something you might have seen on YouTube before a couple times from a few people maybe, but if not, I just wanted to share this today just in case. So what you can do in the middle of the day or sometime when it's around the hottest part of the day is you can run your sprinklers for five, 10 minutes, something like that, just to cool off the grass a little bit. And this helps to just cool things down, cool down your soil a little bit, and take just a little break from that extreme heat during the middle of the day. Now, if you have an irrigation system, this is gonna be pretty easy to do because you can just run your zones and set it up and it'll be good to go. If you don't have an irrigation system, like I don't, but I'm using my little above ground system that I created here, then it's still not too bad to just turn them on for a little bit. And I have mine kind of set in place anyway, so I just kind of turn them on for a little bit, let them run, move the hose to the next set, let those run, and that's pretty much it. So I'm not doing this for my whole yard right now. Without an in-ground system, I really can't take care of my whole yard, but if you're able to do it for just a section that you'd like to keep going during the summer, that's kind of what my plan has been the last couple years. So I checked my soil temperature with just a handy little thermometer here and you can see there that we're well over 90s for a soil temperature. Now that's not good at all for cool season grass but that's the kind of heat that we've been having lately. So then I did a test on the area that I just watered for about 5-10 minutes and we'll see if it made much of a difference in the soil. So you can see there that it made a difference. Is it a drastic difference? No, it's just a couple of degrees there or so. But again, this is the soil temperature and it's not gonna change too drastically anyway because the soil takes a little bit more to regulate the temperature. So I've just been hearing from a few people that have been doing this throughout the summer every day during the middle of the heat and they have said it's made a big difference in their yard this year. I just kind of started this. It was something that I got behind on a little bit this year as far as the heat goes and I've been gone a little bit. So you can see my yard still staying green even during this extreme heat as well. So it's just important to keep up your irrigation if you want to keep an area nice and also the growth regulator that I've been using has been helping out a lot to keep it green as well. So just a quick tip today. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.